Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a beauty blender, beauty sponge, smackdown kind of video. I actually did one of these a like just only last week on the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows versus the BH Cosmetics Foiled Eyeshadows. So I figured I could sort of do like this kind of thing, comparing similar products, maybe as regular videos. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. And yeah, also I have my little pumpkin guy over here. I am getting into the festivities a little early. Um, but it's only a week away from October, so technically I'm not that early. Um, and also I am going to be doing Halloween tutorials. I have a SFX order ready to place um, and I'm going to give it my best shot this year but please let me know down below of any Halloween look requests that you have, anything in particular that you want to learn how to do and I will come up with something and make a video for you guys. But I'm hoping to get a quite a few looks done. Hopefully my videos will be going back to normal. Um, I know they have been quite sparse lately. I've just been, I've been in a bit of a rut with like my mental health, my physical health. Um, just everything. I've just not felt great. Like I'm on so many different medications now which I hate. I don't want to be on all of these different things. So... I'm just, I'm really trying to pull myself out of this and, you know, try and make myself feel better, Do get back into doing the things that I love, which filming is one of those, so yeah, I'm going to try my best over the next few months. I'm excited for Halloween season and then obviously the festive season is coming up after that, so that should all be very good. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's all the little updates that I had to give you guys. Um, some of you may have just skipped ahead because I'm probably going to put a little timestamp in when the video actually starts. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's talk about beauty sponges. So let's start off with a beauty blender. I've been using a beauty blender for a long time now. I first purchased a... No, I first purchased my black one. This one I used to apply my foundation today and it is still damp so that is why it's big. This is the size of a non-damp one so as you can see it does expand quite a bit. So I don't know the huge difference between the pink and the black. I don't personally find there's much difference at all. The only difference that I know of is this one's called the Pro and it's apparently not meant to soak up m as much product as the pink one. Although, to be honest, I don't really find either of them soaking up that much product. So I was going to do a demo of applying half and half of each sponge, but I completely forgot to do that when I did my makeup today. So I do apologize for that. But as I said, I've been using the Beauty Blender for a long time. I've loved it for a long time. It did take over my Real Techniques sponge. Um, as much as I do love that, I just find they absorb so much product and just get really quite dirty and it's hard to explain but I feel like product sticks in those ones. Um, whereas this one, the product comes straight out when you wash it. They're so bouncy, like as you can see when I squish that down it almost, it pretty much just goes flat like and then pings back up into the beauty blender shape. So it's like a little kind of egg shape. It has a pointed end which makes everything easy to get underneath the eyes, in between the nose, like all those crevices, that kind of thing. Um, I use this for many, many different things. I use it for foundation. I use this round end here for foundation and just stipple it on. I use it to blend out cream contouring. And if I do that, I use this um, side edge and just go like that. And I also use it for cream blushes. I use it for highlights. And I use everything like that with this little end. And also concealer, obviously. You can use them for powder. Um, you can use them for a lot of different things. So they're very versatile and I really love the way they apply my foundation. Super quick. It does it all for you. You literally don't have to do anything. You just literally go like that. You don't have to do it hard. You don't have to do it fast. You don't have to do anything like that. It does it all for you. So the Beauty Blender retails for 20 US dollars and I think it's about 25 to 30 Australian dollars. So it is an expensive sponge. I know you're meant to swap these out like every three months. I do have multiples so I just rotate between my sponges so that I keep them for longer. 
um, and then when they get quite bad then I'll throw them out but yeah I do definitely think that it is harder to throw things like this out because they are so expensive and you just think oh my god like it's not really like a brush where you just wash it and all the product comes out it's like a whole new brand new brush if you have a good quality brush so that is the downfall of the product is the price that's where the EXO Beauty Flawless Finish Sponge comes in. So this one is much more affordable. So I've just gone onto the website. They sell for $17.20 Australian. Um, and you can get a duo pack for $24.85 Australian. So with two sponges. Um, they are both currently sold out, which is extremely annoying. Um, as are a lot of things, actually, on the EXO Beauty website. So hopefully they do a restock soon because there's a lot out of stock. With this sponge, the first main difference I notice is the density. This sponge is very, very, very dense. So when I push it down, it takes a lot more force to do it rather than the Beauty Blender. So the Beauty Blender is literally like just one finger will do it. This one takes a few fingers for me to push it down and it's just incredibly dense. Like it's very very different texture to the Beauty Blender and because of that I find when you do like stamp it onto your face it is quite a bit harder like it's not got that soft and squishy and bouncy feeling that the Beauty Blender does which I have to say I do prefer the Beauty Blender for that reason it just feels nicer on the face when you're applying your makeup but you know it's not really a huge huge deal if something just feels a little bit more like it's pushing into your face like really so that's the first thing I noticed with it the other thing is that it's quite a bit more I don't know it's kind of like it's fatter and shorter if you can see the difference actually I'm going to go and dampen the XO Beauty sponge just so you can see side by side comparisons of two damp sponges I'll be back okay so I did just dampen both of them this is now the size of the EXO Beauty sponge and this is the size of the Beauty Blender so you can see that the EXO Beauty sponge is just that little bit wider I don't know if you'll even be able to really tell but it definitely is um, and still the density is still very different so all in all they are quite similar they're very similar shapes they do a very, very similar job. I have to even say that I find the EXO Beauty Sponge to apply my foundation even a little bit more flawlessly than the Beauty Blender. And I think the reason for that is because it's more dense and not so spongy. So with the Beauty Blender, it can just sometimes leave kind of those spongy marks, I guess. Sorry, I'm trying to put my words together. Whereas the EXO Beauty one really just, it's kind of like it's airbrushing the product onto your skin it makes it look very 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 flawless and the other thing this one does not soak up any product whatsoever I have not found this to soak up anything it literally all stays on the bottom of the sponge doesn't have anything go into this and I think that's again due to the density of it um, there's no room for it to slip through any pores in the sponge um, like it can do on the Beauty Blender. So that is another huge plus with this product because there is nothing worse than using a sponge, applying your foundation and half of it's gone because it's gone into the sponge. That drives me mental. <laughs> so which one should you buy is the question we are all here for. The answer. But I'm so lame. Personally, I think I would purchase the EXO Beauty Sponge just because it is a lot more affordable. You know, it's a fellow YouTuber's brand, it's EXO Beauty, it's Shannon Harris's brand. I feel like when we support each other, it's just, you feel good about it. You see how hardworking she is and that just makes it all the more worthwhile when you purchase her products. So to be honest, I really would think if you were going to purchase one of these, you could definitely go the EXO Beauty one and skip out on the Beauty Blender. But if you're like me and you just need variety. I'm the kind of person who, you know, I'll get sick of something so I'll swap to something else. This is why I love the Beauty Blender and if I do have the choice, I do tend to reach for the Beauty Blender just because it is that little bit more squishy, that little bit more soft and just a little bit quicker to apply the foundation. Um, whereas with the EXO Beauty one, it does take pretty much the same amount of time as it would 
to use a brush. So that may just come down to me being a little bit lazy or being in a rush in the mornings, but I definitely do think they are both incredible sponges. The Exo Beauty one is a very, very close dupe. Um, and I know that it is so hard to dupe the Beauty Blender. I know so many brands have tried to do it, none have come close. This one is definitely very, very close. All in all, I think if you're a, you know, someone like me, a makeup collector, um, and you just want to try everything, get the Beauty Blender. You can get them in packs a lot of the time. I know I got a pack once with um, the Solid Cleanser and a little refresher spray. Um, and those come out around the holiday season, so I do love getting things like that. But if you're on a budget and you just don't want to spend that much on a sponge, which I can totally understand, go the XO Beauty one because it's so similar and you probably won't even really know the difference. So I hope that answered some questions for you guys. I hope it was informative. I kind of feel like it wasn't, but... I don't think I have anything else to say about it. The only thing is, always make sure you dampen your sponges. I know some people prefer it dry, but I just do not understand how that can work. Always dampen your sponge, hold it under the sink, like under running water, and just keep on going like this. Keep on smushing it in your hand, and it will soak up all that water and make your products blend out seamlessly, like so beautifully. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Ew, I just had a sticker in my hair. Ew. Hey guys, what? How much? Oh.